Hello, I hope you are doing so fine. I have here with me the BT1200 range extender and uh, there is a manual available with it um, that is pretty easy to understand. However, for those who could not understand or are having an issue, let me tell you how to use this device. You just simply plug it into your uh, power source and uh, obviously it is mentioned here on the specifications on the back side that it uses the 220 volt power supply. So check it out if you are using the 220 volt or the 110 volt um, uh, device be sure to plug it right into the right power source next once you have plugged it in make sure that you have your power button turned to on position and then the band is either 2.4 or, or 5 according to your needs if you want to have longer range but comparatively slow speed keep it at 2.4 and if you want to have uh, high speed high performance but a narrower range keep it 8 to 5 now it is very wise that you plug it midway between the source internet which you are trying to extend and the device which you are going to reach okay just place midway between them not too close to the source of the Wi-Fi that you are going to extend not too close to the uh, that that uh, the target device where you are going to uh, give Wi-Fi signal to extend Wi-Fi signal right if there are two points the source and your device where you are going to give internet place it midway between okay now here is the Ethernet port if you want to uh, take away uh, the LAN cable from here and the WPS button of course and this teeny hole here it is the reset button now once it is plugged into the power source you have to pre press and hold this reset button maybe you will need a toothpick uh, so, but do beware not to break it inside it or you can use that pin which is used to take out the sim card don't use sharp objects because this can damage the electronics inside you have to press and hold and uh, for it about about my hope 10 seconds and then you will say that all of the lights one turn once turn on and then this tur turn blinking mode then you have to connect it to your uh, to, um, uh, laptop or cell phone with its Wi-Fi name that is also written on its back here and give it the password that is written here once you are connected to the default settings here after resetting open 192.168.1.1 in Google Chrome let me repeat 192.168.1.1 in Google Chrome and the admin password will be asked which is here, written here right I am not showing you because that's you know, for this specific device once you have entered that password it is very very simple just simply click on setup it will show you the list of the Wi-Fi's that are available right there tap on the Wi-Fi that you are going to connect give the password and press save button there you go sometimes you need to turn off the device and turn it back on sometimes in that case uh, if your net internet is not working through that device simply turn it on now the this device such as the BT1200 these give EXT2 or EXT5 uh, in the name of the Wi-Fi that will be extended right so your original Wi-Fi will also be workable you can simply move to that location and start working on it and its name will be let's suppose room 1 but if it is extended through this BT1200 model the name of after extension will be BT uh, sorry EXT2 if it is on 2.4 EXT2 room 1 or if it is on 5 EXT5 room 1 so I hope this is uh, pretty good to understand now if it is not working make sure that it is not too far from your source internet make sure it is plugged on make sure that you entered the right passwords into your device right and if still not working simply turn it off and back on and i hope you are having a good idea and even then if everything goes wrong and it's not working let's give it one re more reset try reset it once more i hope that was pretty easy to understand thank you very much